Good morning again, guys. We are on to our second bundle from the Target Black Friday deal they had. Of course, it's been a month and a half since Black Friday, at least, or almost a month, but finally getting to open this specific one. We got the Flareon and Sylveon V, the tins, and of course, if you watched the video yesterday, you saw that these are reprinted tins, so the booster packs on the inside, sadly, are not exactly that great. They are just Scarlet, Violet, Base Set, and Paldea Evolved. I have not seen anyone open um, this bundle from Target and gotten anything else. So as far as I know, there really should not be any variants in these tins from the bundle. Also important to make sure you don't get these tins confused with the tins that came out originally during Sword and Shield um, so that you know what packs on the, on the inside. I do think sometimes there's codes on these ones to tell you, help you, uh, tell you which print run these are. Um, however, I do not see anything on these ones, at least where they normally would be. There'd sometimes be a letter and a number combination, or it would say 2023 instead of 22. Um, however, that is not the case. So unless there are, there is some difference on the back here, these will be very easily confused. Um, with the other ones that came out. So I will, I do say that just so everyone is aware, if you buy a sealed tin of these online anytime from now until forever, basically expect it to be the worst booster packs because there essentially is no way even for the seller to know unless they know for sure based on where they bought it originally. So anyway, here we go, we got our two packs of base and two of Paldea Evolved, same artwork there. Um, so we will adjust the camera downward slightly and let's open our first tin, our first pack from the first tin. Yesterday we opened all eight booster packs and somehow got a singular EX pull out of eight packs. So it was a pretty abysmal opening, but I'm hoping that that means today and or tomorrow we get some good stuff. We got a Judge Reverse, a Wiglet Reverse, and a, another Hollow to start us off. Let's see how many packs today it takes for us to get anything better than a Hollow. I'm hoping only two or three. We got a Growlithe, Shuppet, Breloom, Kilowattrel, Heracross, a Reverse Energy Retrieval, Starly, and again, these are oddly off-center. They've been pretty good in Scarlet to Violet about having centered cards, but these reverses are very off. And a Professor's Research, so there we go. 0 for 2 today. We are 1 for 11, or no, 1 for 10, if you count the ones from yesterday. And this pack, man, it's always annoying when they want to rip out the front. Really hate hate opening them when they do that because I don't want to rip through it and damage the cards at all. But that's sometimes the only way to do it is to rip rip through the front like that. We got a Rockruff, Palmy, Larvitar, Dino, Talonflame, a Heracross, Kilowattrel, Snover, Sableye, and another Hollow card. Kind of crazy, but. Do not buy Scarlet and Violet packs if you expect to get hits or make any money. We got Slowpoke, Litleo, Corviknight, Paladin Tauros, Luxio, Roller, Meboshtif, Obama Snow for the Hollow. So there we go. 0 for 4, 1 for 12 on the weekend. Now let's see if our Flareon pin, that loud crackle, can do us any better. These promo cards, though, are at least nice, as they are, of course, Eeveolutions, although I think the promos, except for maybe the Jolteon, which is actually worth a decent amount. Uh, by decent amount, I mean, like, maybe 2 to $3. Um, most of them are basically bulk promos because they've been printed in multiple products at this point. And here we go. Same packs. Again, two of the same, uh, same artwork, just kind of interesting. The uh, Eeveolution promos, the primarily, well, excluding this reprint that just happened, they were in the GameStop exclusive Eevee 
box, which, you know, originally cost like 60 or $70 for eight packs or 10 packs, something insane, and just with the standard promo. So that got on sale pretty quickly, but that is just one of the many times the cards have been printed. As we are on to our next pack and still have not gotten a hit. Insane. Pokegear 3.0 Ultra Ball, Esparthra, Arvin, Klobitzer, Rotom Reverse, and another regular Hollow Man. I have not seen anyone actually open a product like this. Um, so, you're going to have to let me know in the comments if you yourself, someone you know, or another video you've seen of anyone opening these Black Friday products from Target. Has anyone gotten decent things or have every single one of them been like these openings? And basically just regular hollows. We got a reverse, a reverse, and a hollow. We are once again in the exact same position. Ooh, for seven. Out of our last four tins, the last two bundles, we are now at a one for 15 in terms of hits. And on top of that, the only, make sure I don't do the card trick, the only hit we have is a standard EX card. Oh, Shrudel, Glimlet, Miss Magus, um, Bramble Gast, Toxicroak, Noibat, Wooper, and a Tyranitar. Okay, I gotta tell you though, opening things the last 12 months has made me realize I gotta stop um, buying as many of these things to open because they just put straight up trash in these packs. Still buying lots of Sword and Shield product on sale, but uh, I think I'm going to have to call it quits on Scarlet and Violet. Because it seems like Pokemon has realized everyone is buying cards, and it doesn't really matter what they put on. Ah, can't talk. Put in it because they're going to buy it regardless. So I'm going to, you know, still buy Sword and Shield and cut back on Scarlet and Violet. Because if all they're putting in these are hollows that are worth five cents in bulk, I'm going to stop buying it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys little rant here at the end. I'll see you tomorrow. We have one more bundle from Target. Hopefully we get something from that one.